The NASCAR offseason is already starting to come to a close, and as a result, the NASCAR silly season is starting to wind down as well. In today's episode, we're going to look back at and review all the biggest movers and shakers from throughout this offseason, and we're going to do it all right here, right now. So let's get started. How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and welcome once again to Out of the Groove. And yeah, can you believe it? We're already less than a month away from the Daytona 500. This offseason, I know it's short, but good lord, this thing just flies by. Needless to say, it's been quite a while since I did a NASCAR Silly Season update video, so that's exactly what we're going to do here today because pretty much all the biggest players have found their new homes for 2019. So if you've missed out on any of the big announcements from this offseason, or you're just feeling that NASCAR itch, you know, just a few weeks before the Daytona 500, you're really ready for racing to come back. Here's the video that's going to get you started with everything you need to know about who's going to be driving for what teams in the Cup Series here at the beginning of 2019. So uh, let's run through it. We'll start with one that was actually just confirmed yesterday. Jamie McMurray drove the number one car for Chip Ganassi Racing full time last season. This year, he is going to be running the Daytona 500 for Spire Motorsports, who is going to be affiliated with Chip Ganassi. He's going to be running the 40 car in what is likely to be his final NASCAR start ever. He signed a deal with Fox Sports to join the NASCAR broadcast team for the rest of the season after the Daytona 500. So for Jamie McMurray, he's going to be running one final race, the biggest one on the schedule, the Daytona 500. Remember, he is the 2010 winner of this race. He's going to be going out in style driving this beautiful number 40 race car, but after that, he will be joining the booth. So happy trails to Jamie McMurray. Hopefully he can go out uh, with a, in a big way. Another big one that was only confirmed recently is Daniel Suarez moving away from Joe Gibbs Racing's number 19 car. He has now found a new home with Stuart Haas Racing driving the number 41 Ford. Exciting to see him in another competitive race car. Hopefully the results will be a little better than they've been the last couple of years. Meanwhile, Kurt Busch, the driver who has driven that 41 the last several years, he is moving over to Chip Ganassi Racing to take over for Jamie McMurray. He will be driving the one car uh, full time in 2019. Keep in mind, this is only a one year deal that Kurt Busch signed, so 2020, he will be a free agent again. So we'll see what happens for Kurt Busch as he now gets later and later into his successful Cup Series career. Now we all heard the unfortunate news a few months ago when Furniture Row Racing, the 2017 championship team in the NASCAR Cup Series, announced they were closing up shop. People wondered where Martin Truex Jr., where all those guys at that team are going to go. It turns out Martin Truex Jr. isn't going to be going too far. Martin Truex Jr. is going to drive for the Toyota Mothership team uh, this year. Uh, he will be in that 19 car, replacing Daniel Suarez. So he is now a part of the official Joe Gibbs Racing squad. Let's move to Roush Fenway Racing. Last year they had Matt Kenseth and Trevor Bain splitting time in the number six Cup Series car. This this year, however, Ryan Newman is set to take over that ride in 2019. Matt Kenseth has already said he is not going to be racing next year. Uh, chances are he ends up in some sort of management role with Roush Fenway. Trevor Bain, there have been no reports, no talks whatsoever about where he is going to go. His career seems, his NASCAR career at least, seems to be in doubt right now. Now Ryan Newman is leaving that 31 car for Richard Childress Racing. Replacing him over at RCR is going to be rookie to the Cup Series this year, Daniel Hemrick. But now Hemrick will not be driving the 31 car like Newman has driven the last several years. Instead, they are rebranding that car to the number eight. That's right, the number eight car is back in the Cup Series full time. Daniel Hemrick was RCR's strongest Xfinity competitor last year. He is making the jump into the Cup Series. He will be competing for Rookie of the Year. Another 2019 rookie in the Cup Series will be Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest is going to JTG Doherty Racing to drive the number 40 seven car. Priest drove for Joe Gibbs Racing in the Xfinity Series last year part-time, but now he's jumping over to Chevy uh, to team up with JTG Doherty. They are switching to Hendrick Engines next year, that team, so could be interesting to see how that team performs. The driver he is replacing in that number 47 car is AJ Allmendinger. AJ Allmendinger currently has no plans to race in NASCAR next season. He has a ride for the Rolex 24 at Daytona with Meyer Shank Racing, uh, but after that, his plans are to then join the NBC NASCAR broadcast team. He signed a contract with them recently, so you'll be seeing the dinger on on TV much more. Fan favorite Matt DiBenedetto is switching rides as well next year. He's going to be joining Levine Family Racing, driving that number 95 car next year. And that team, remember, is switching to Toyota and will be aligned with Joe Gibbs Racing. Matt DiBenedetto is leaving Go Fast Racing and replacing him in that 32 car next year will be driver Corey LaJoy coming from TriStar Motorsports last year. Casey Kane, the man who drove for Levine Family Racing in the 95 last year, remember his season was cut short due to health issues. He will not be racing in NASCAR next season. Uh, Casey Kane instead will be competing competing in more than 50 sprint car races for his World of Outlaws team. So Casey Kane will still be racing 
just not at NASCAR's top level. Another one worth mentioning, Tanner Berryhill raced part-time just the very end of the season for Obica Racing. I think that's how you say it. That team is going full-time next year, so expect Tanner Berryhill to compete in all 36 Cup Series races for that same team. And then we have another new face to the NASCAR Cup Series, Matt Tift, who spent last season driving the number two car in the Xfinity Series for Richard Childress Racing. He is moving over to Front Row Motorsports. They are bringing back the number 36 car uh, for Matt Tift to drive. Uh, he will be another new face in a competitive Monster Energy Cup Series roster. So there you have it. Those are all the big driver moves. Remember, there are still a couple rides that haven't been announced yet. Most notably, there's the new number 77 car that is owned by, I think, Spire Entertainment Group. Uh, it's a new team that just formed. It's a car that is going to be running Chevy with Chevy manufacturer. We don't know who's really going to be running that team. We don't really know who the driver is. They haven't announced that one yet, but uh, those are all the biggest and the most notable names. Those are pretty much every name that has, is changing its places in the Cup Series this season. And now while I have you here, let's talk about the crew chiefs a little bit too, because the drivers aren't the only big names moving around. We have some big name crew chiefs finding new homes in 2019. Let's talk about that. Danny Stockman will be the crew chief for Austin Dillon on that number three car this season. One pretty notable new from within the JGR Toyota system is Mike Wheeler. He is moving from Denny Hamlin's 11 car. He will now be the crew chief for DiBenedetto on the 95. So Matt DiBenedetto is getting a veteran crew chief aboard the box. Meanwhile, Chris Gabehart, who's been one of Joe Gibbs Racing's most successful crew chiefs in the Xfinity Series the last three years, Gabehart will now be moving over to Denny Hamlin's number 11 car. He's getting a promotion into the Cup Series. Big changes over at Hendrick Motorsports. We've talked about this quite a bit as well. Chad Knauss, who's been with Jimmy Johnson ever since his rookie season in the Cup Series. They've won seven championships together. The two of them are splitting up for the first time ever. Chad Knauss will now move over to William Byron's number 24 car to be the crew chief for him. Uh, meanwhile, Kevin Meandering, who's been one of the top guys over at Junior Motorsports, working with Elliott Sadler the last several years. He will now get the promotion into the Cup Series to work with seven-time champ Jimmy Johnson. So there you go. Big changes over at Hendrick Motorsports. Go check out some of my more recent episodes if you want to hear more about my thoughts on that whole situation. Just confirmed earlier this week, Drew Blickensdurfer is moving from Richard Petty Motorsports, the number 43 car, to Front Row Motorsports to be the crew chief for Michael McDowell and that 34 car. Another new crew chief change for Front Row Motorsports, uh, Mike Kelly is coming over from Roush's Xfinity program to be the crew chief for Matt Tift in that new number 36 car. And now the last big crew chief change, at least that I'm aware of, is that Scott Graves, who spent the last year and a half, two years uh, with Daniel Suarez over at JGR, is going to move over to Roush Fenway to crew chief for Ryan Newman in that six car. Those are all the big crew chief changes now. Uh, yeah, any of those you didn't notice? I'm very excited to see what Mike Wheeler can do for DiBenedetto in that 95 car team. That's going to be my dark horse to watch for much of this season. Of course, the Hendrick crew chief swap is interesting as well. It'll be interesting to see how that works out. I think that's a move towards the future uh, for Hendrick Motorsports. But we'll be interested to see on how this all works out. A lot of crew chief changes as well. Now, I know this video is mainly meant to talk about all the Cup Series silly season changes, but there are some Xfinity Series things that we should talk about as well, some other notes to tip in. Uh, it's worth mentioning that Richard Childress has recently said that Tyler Reddick might see some time in the Cup Series in a third RCR car, just part-time. So keep an eye out on that. That is something Richard Childress has said he is interested in. Now, Ross Chastain was expected to drive for Chip Ganassi Racing full-time in the Xfinity Series this year. If you missed it just a couple weeks ago, that deal fell through after uh, DC Solar's uh, owners were raided. So sponsor Sponsorship issues fell through for Ross Chastain there. He is still going to be racing full-time for Premium Motorsports in the Cup Series, so still expect to see him out there every Sunday. He also just recently signed a deal with Nice Motorsports, I think that's how you say it, uh, to drive uh, trucks for a Truck Series team part-time this year as well. So Chastain still has some rides out there. Also, there's speculation that he has some other Xfinity Series deals in the works, likely going to return to JD Motorsports for some races. So Ross Chastain, expect to see him at most of the racetrack, uh, pretty much every racetrack this year, driving a lot of different cars. He'll be a busy boy. Other notable Xfinity Series updates, remember Junior Motorsports has added Noah Gregson to their team, replacing retiring Elliott Sadler. That team is going to consist of Gregson in the one car. They're going to have a revolving door of drivers in the number nine. Uh, Zane Smith from uh, from the Arca series is the only driver that's been confirmed to that car to drive eight races. Other drivers, there's some speculation out there that maybe Ryan Truex, some other guys might get the nod. That has not been announced yet. They're still going to have Justin Allgaier and Mike Lynette on that team as well. Might be something to watch out for regarding future Cup Series plans. Uh, and then, of course, Tyler Reddick. I mentioned he might get some part-time uh, Cup Series rides. He is still going to be racing full-time for RCR this next year. He's moving over from Junior Motorsports to RCR in the Expandy Series, so expect Tyler Reddick. They haven't said if he's going to be in the 2 or the 21 car yet, but both of those spots are technically open right now. So, but yeah, we know uh, we know that Tyler Reddick will still be in the top right in the Expandy program after winning the championship last year. And the last big thing, I've done so much talking in this episode, you guys must be tired of my voice. The last big name that we got to talk about here is Christopher Bell. There's still no rumors around this guy. He is easily the top prospect in the Xfinity Series right now, driving the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. As far as Joe Gibbs has said, he is still going to be racing that in that car full-time throughout the 2019 season. 2020, is if there's going to be a chance for him to jump into a Cup Series ride, that remains to be seen. You know, I think the 2020 offseason is going to be 
very interesting regarding Christopher Bell and his NASCAR future because there's no doubt that he is one of the most talented guys in the NASCAR in the lower NASCAR series maybe the most talented guy in the lower NASCAR series his time will come will it be with Joe Gibbs Racing time will tell that's gonna be what's really interesting to watch but no further things to report on the Christopher Bell front I'm just keeping my eye on it Whew, okay let's just take a step back here that was a lot of names and uh, teams and everything to just rattle off like that. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. If you have uh, not been able to keep up with all the news throughout this NASCAR offseason, hopefully you know who to watch for now going into 2019. That's all for this episode. Uh, just basically a silly season recap, really. Uh, let you guys know where everyone is. Uh, go back and watch a bunch of the episodes on this channel from the last several weeks. I give my thoughts and opinions on a lot of, a lot of these deals, uh, who I think the, really the big threats are for this next season. Uh, but of course, I have a lot of other upcoming episodes that you guys are going to be excited for. Predictions for 2019, more news as it comes out. That's what this channel is all about, and that's what I'm going to continue to discuss. So thanks, everyone for watching. As always, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram, or you can get yourself an Out of the Groove t-shirt and support the show. Those are down in the description. Uh, also, you can check out that P.O. box down there if you want to send me some cool NASCAR stuff. I will show it off and shout you out in an upcoming NASCAR video. I actually have a couple things to show off right over there. I'll do that in an upcoming video. Uh, but yeah, take advantage of that while that's down there. Uh, and then, of course, a huge thank you to uh, to my Patreon supporters. Huge thanks to Michael Harrison at GWiz of the Stars, SelfishGifts.com, Mentally Defective, Cameron James Tysmore, and the rest of these amazing Patreon supporters. Uh, if you too want to help out the show directly, check out that top link down below. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time to check that out. Really helps out the show directly and helps uh, helps me do bigger and better things with this thing, so I appreciate it. Anyway, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the most recent episodes on this show as well. If you've missed it, some interesting stuff has been talked about lately. A lot of news, a lot of notes around the NASCAR world. Uh, thanks as always for supporting the channel. I think 2019 is going to be an amazing season. I'm, look really, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so thanks for supporting the show. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you guys again probably after this weekend. Have a good one, everyone.